Okay, no, I'll be in McGinley. I'm the little plot manager here at the Radisson Blue Hotel. Uh, and I'm going to make something short and simple, and it's guacamole. So I've already had some assistance to cut up some of the ingredients. So we've got two medium-sized tomatoes in there. We've got one red onion in there. We've just halved a whole lemon and a whole lime for there. And then we've got some nachos for the side. And we've got some cut coriander, one small green pepper, and two avocados. So the last thing I need to do is just cut these up. So you can see inside, once you've cut it in half, you've got a stone that you need to take out. So the easiest way is to just get a medium sized spoon and pop that out. And then you can just scoop straight out, straight into the piece. And it's exactly the same in the second half. This will probably make enough for about two to four people, depending on how much of a pig you are. If you're anything like me, then you'll probably destroy yourself. So one of the so you can either just pop it all straight in the bowl like I've done, or you can cut it up beforehand. Um, it just makes it a bit easier to mix, basically. So we've got our bowl just there, so that's just got our guacamole and some stuff. Cutting that. The coriander is going straight in as well. The tomato is kind of dependent on just how much you like it, whether you want a bit more lemon sauce in there or lime, it's completely up to you. I like the white lemony. So that's about it. That's probably a tomato and a half that's going to there. And then that's probably about half a red onion that's gone in there as well. Dice up this little pepper as well. And then that can all just go straight in there as well. So, as I said, you can cut it up beforehand, which does make it a little bit easier. Doesn't look the most appetising right now, but hopefully it'll all come together. And then, once the guacamole is in some smaller bits, it's generally best to do the lemon there so everything gets covered in it. A little squeeze of lime and a bigger squeeze of lemon. As I said, it just depends exactly on how you like it. Go give it a big mix up. Get it covered. You can always give it a little taste as well, just to see how it's doing.